defending the worst eight in the Bernie and Seth and Basics of Craft Roulette. This is episode 149. If you don't know what Craft Roulette is, we are the ultimate paper crafting, card making, game show challenge, and we're here almost every Friday night at 6.30 Central Time, saving a seat right here for you. Glad to have you. Um, if you are new, let us know. Say hi. We're, we're always glad to meet new people. We have a super friendly group in the chatterbox. Thank you guys for being here tonight. I've been reading your comments as, uh, as we watch the slideshow. If you didn't watch the slideshow, I would, and you like cards, and you like pretty things and cute things, I would suggest going back and watching that part. It's like 20 minutes of pure cuteness. Pure, unadulterated cuteness. And I, it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. Mr. Producer, thank you for being here tonight. Mr. Producer is always, he's going. Oh, he's paying. Mixed signals. <laughs> you know, before the show started, we were, I was talking to Sire. You're going to love our guest tonight. Hang on. You're going to meet him here in just a minute. But we were talking, and I said something about, oh, but I get confused about that. And Mr. Producer was going, well, that's never stopped you. So anyway, that's the kind of respect we get around here. I don't have any kind of housekeeping. Too much. Except. We do have a couple birthday shout outs. We have some patrons having birthdays in February, and we want to give a huge birthday, happy birthday shout out to Karen Cadigan, Kathy Brunt, or Kathy Prunty, Lynn Sanders, run, 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 and Rebecca Gwynn, who is a brand new patron. We are so glad to have be able to say happy birthday to you. It's a wonderful month to have a birthday, I happen to know. We also want to say, hope you're feeling better to the Boons, Jamie Watts, and Amanda and Micah Stevens. Um, Amanda tried to get out of fixing a fence, and so she put took her, had a little had a little experience with her back going out. Then Micah got hurt with a jackhammer, and then the bunny bit him, and it's quite a quite a tale. You just never know what's going on in people's houses. I, you know, and so here's the thing. Thing. Here's the tang. <laughs> I don't know what you guys went through this week, but I am just wanting to you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the, a little craft entertainment because that's all we can offer. We don't teach. We don't sell. We're just here to chat and um, make some cards and hang out with Mr. Wheel and Mr. Producer and Mr. Mike and Mr. Anderson. It's going to be a nice evening. We do have some spin sponsors we want to thank and introduce you to our new spin sponsors for February, Gina K Designs. She will be giving away, get a load of this, $100 every week. Don't miss a week of card contributions. We have Angie Blum's Digital Designs. I did a card. Of, she's got some. We'll talk about this more. But I did make a card out of her digital designs today. Very nice. And we also have Penguin Palace, which I also made a card out of their digital designs today. So they are all going to be giving away gift certificates every week. The way that you do that, we will explain later in the show, sometimes known as LITS. There it is, later in the show. <laughs> Very good. We are not we are not sponsored by our spin sponsors. Those are only for our giveaways for those people that send in cards each week. We are um, helped by our patrons, and our patrons helped us this just today because Mr. Producer went out and bought himself a brand new graphics card for our, our power machine here that puts on the show. Um, and there were there were lots of pennies involved, and <laughs> it wasn't for me though. <laughs> it wasn't for uh, it wasn't from him. My com the computer that powers this show now is better than his gaming computer. To, and if you game, you understand. If you don't game, just say, "Oh wow, that sounds powerful," because it is. So we thank you, patrons, so much, and we want to welcome two new patrons this week: Erica Brown and Donna Cannon. Thank you so much for coming and joining us. Not tomorrow. But the next Saturday, we will be having an all-patron call. Um, we do have over 100 patrons. I don't anticipate everybody showing up, but it will only uh, this patron call will only be available for 100 at a time. I can't imagine that happening. It will be. It, it, I, I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen. You'll probably be safe if you need to come in and out, things like that. It's all good. Mr. Mike's outfit. We didn't change clothes because it was too cold this week for him to change his clothes. His little sleeve is by House of Detizio. I did send you a, your goodie bag today, yesterday, sometime lately. And the little jumper is from our friend Marianne Hill in England. So, 
yay for everything that, you know, what a fun community. Except the craft roulette is bigger than a community. It has its own merchandise. It has its own dress code. It has its own language. We are a culture and we're proud of it. I'm really so very pleased to be in your culture. I cannot think of a nicer group to hang out with and call our friends. All right. So, yep. That's part of our culture right there, Mr. Mike. We have some lovely merchandise. This is an old shirt, but we do have some lovely merchandise. I have about a zillion ideas for merchandise, and it just never happens. So hang on, maybe someday. <laughs> Thank you, Arlen. Oh, there's that Team Orange. We're going to ask Mr. Sire what, he's, what his thing is anyway. By the way, let's in, let's welcome the card of card makers, <laughs> Sire Anderson from British Columbia, Canada. Welcome to our show, Mister First Timer. <laughs> Thank you. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Just that's right. You want to yawn? We can yawn if that's No, cool. I, I did I'll my yawn. I'll get you. Okay. All right. This is Sire. Sire and I um, have been chatting here. We're just like so excited to be here tonight. You are probably a little more excited than I am at 149 shows in. But um, you, this is your first time. Tell us a little yes. bit about yourself, please. Um. Well, I'm Sire. I'm, like Mary said, from British Columbia, Canada. And... Um, I've been crafting card making probably for three years now and um, started right in going on to Twitch and trying to just make some cards. And then I gave that up pretty quickly and went to YouTube um, where, you know, there's just a lot more people. So I, I kind of went and created a YouTube channel for my living portfolio slash journal of my crafty adventures. And also I wanted to try to sell them on my Etsy shop, which I have to sell paper shapes, but then I kind of stopped putting them on there and just focused on creating and having fun, which has happened when I joined Craft Roulettes, which has taken a lot of my time, which is very proud of, very happy. <laughs> we met you from Kendra Morgan's um, challenge, and we're all the better for it. Um, then we you've been on our, some of our patron calls so i got to know you a little <laughs> bit and get a and then we've enjoyed some of your cards you have multiple <laughs> talents you don't just stamp but you also draw and and mm -hmm. color and all sorts of things you have even and you have a wonderful sense of humor one time <laughs> One time, I'm going to tell on you, but one time our parameter was spicy. And if you're new here, um, you probably didn't see this card, but you kind of got like, what do I do for spicy? So what did you do? I created a, a chili pepper that um, had <laughs> gas. Actually, the initial <laughs> thought was he was touching his, his bum and saying, ooh, spicy, and it was sizzling. But I think some people took it as a little toot. <laughs> it was a little toot. It was a little toot. It was hilarious. And it was like, well, this is... <laughs> you asked for it, Mary Gunn, when you said spicy. And we got it. I, but I that was fun. I have a little mischievous side to me um, when I draw. <laughs> <laughs> Not, But you also, when you write your description, like on the Facebook post that you put in, by the way, if you're not a part of our Facebook group, it's under, it's a private group, Facebook or Craft Roulette Show. Go ahead and go over there and join it, but make sure you answer those two questions or you'll be delete or you'll be declined. It's real simple. Um but um, when you put your little posts in Facebook, you always tell the story of your characters in your on your card. Yeah, and it's like it's an incredible little little story. It's just a little vignette that you weave for us, and it's always a lot of fun. It's it's a little glimpse into the the thoughts and imagination that goes through my head constantly. <laughs> Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm able to articulate it into a little sentence. <laughs> yep, it's just delightful. I really I really enjoy it. Yeah, well, we do too. We do too. So thank you so much for keeping us craft retained. We appreciate <laughs> you a lot. We're going to um, go ahead and break, and um, then we'll be back to do a little bit about our, our achievements. But first, I forgot to ask you this, but did you have a question you wanted to ask me? I did. What is craft roulette? 
Let's find out. Thank you all for being here. What is Craft Roulette? Craft Roulette is a live paper crafts challenge show where the goal is to complete a project that has been randomly selected by the spin of a wheel. There are four categories we spin for, project, colors, element, and random. Each category has 24 possible options with a combined possibility of 331,776 unique projects. Whoa. We're live every Friday at 6.30 p.m. Central on youtube.com slash craftroulette. Please like and subscribe. Each week we bring on a special guest crafter to create along with us and share their unique take on the challenge. You can play too. Complete a unique project of your own using the same four parameters set in this episode. You'll have 48 hours to contribute by submitting pictures of your project through the submission form on craftroulette.live. Contributions are featured on marygunfun.com's weekly episode blog and the next episode. Let's recap last week's episode and submissions. Yep, yep, yep. That's what we do every almost every Friday night at 6.30 Central Time. And like I said earlier, you are always welcome to enjoy us. Or <laughs> to not enjoy us. That's up to you. But you're always welcome to join us. Anyway, it's, we're off to a good start. Last week, we had the parameter didn't we guys we had 158 contributions however even though we had the dreaded most dreaded purse card as a parameter we are probably going to pass into a 12,000 card total submission here this weekend so pretty exciting times here at craft roulette look at all those pins all over if you see where you live and you don't see a pin send us a card this week we would love to have you on our map there's my card. Here it is, just right here. The little stack of funny, <laughs> funny elephants, all carrying purses. Our project was a purse card. You never wanted it. Well, only a few of you would go, yes, yes, purse card. But a lot of you were going, no, veto, veto, veto. And then three pops of gold. So you could use any color you wanted as long as you included three pops of gold. Your element had to start with E and your random had to ha include a frame somehow or other on your purse card. Okay, just for a moment. Would you guys just kiss your brains for those 158 people that put in a card this week? Sire just kissed his. He just <laughs> you didn't you didn't have any trouble at all. Well, maybe some of you did. You struggled, but you did it. And I'm very very proud of you. And I'm really pleased because it was a pleasure to watch all those cards coming in and all your wonderful interpretations. I'm so proud of everybody. If you want to see all of those cards, you can go to craftyroulette.live episode 148 eight, and go to the gallery. There's also a couple process videos that people put in um, with their process of making the card or reviewing their card. It's always a lot of fun. And we would love to have you go over to that website and check out all the information. There's a lot there. All right, that was my card. We had a lovely guest who didn't have any trouble. Caitlin Anthony was our guest and she did this cute card, completely different from mine. Completely, mine was goofy, hers was beautiful. Um, but she did just use some oval dies and made this pretty spring card using some stamps that were soon to be released by one of our spin sponsors, Possum Stamps, right? Possum Stamps, yep. So that was very cool. Well done, Caitlin. We always enjoy having you here. Okay, I'm going to get a drink. And then we'll be on a timer. These are some people that we get to celebrate this week. We have our zero heroes, which means they've sent in 10, 20, 30, up to 140 cards. Um, first timers, we always like to give you a big welcome. Our leading ladies for the week. And we have somebody new to Club 52. Before we forget, though, I do have an, a little card making 100 mug club sample because this is going to go to Jackie Jackpot Muller in Australia. So that is what the mugs look like right now. They are going to be adjusted because our Costco quit 
quit doing it. Those bums. Anyway, we're going. We're working on another another supplier, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Are you ready? Oh, as ready as I'll ever be. Let's do it. Welcome to our first timer, Stacy from Illinois, with her amazing card. Take oh, just keep your eyes open for those four parameters and how people used them. Danielle Dunlop, we'd like to welcome you from Saba. So nice to have you. We are our first Sabian. Laura Burgos from Texas sent in this cute card. See how she used her purse? Otisri. So cute. Brown Brownwin Bent from Australia sent in this cute card with a little corgi in the frame. Such cute cards. Another first timer, Carol St. Andrew from Texas. I like the dimension in this, Carol. Erica Brown from Windsor, Colorado sent in her first card, which is a purse. She's also a new patron. Well done. So glad to meet you. Mara T has sent in 10 cards, which makes her a zero hero with this good looking purse. Michelle Lieberson has sent in 10 as well with her gorgeous use of pattern paper purse. That's so cute. Natasha R. from Australia has sent in 20. Congratulations on being a zero hero with your purple purse. Pam F. from Ontario, Canada has sent in 20. The little guy, he wants to go to the craft store. Oh, I was going to practice this. Marika <laughs> from the Netherlands, number 20. I was going to look it up again and practice it. Beautiful card. I can say that. Tamara A. from Texas. You have also sent in 20. Look at your frame. And the purse is down in the grass. <laughs> and the elephant. Clever. Don Wilcox from Maine has sent in 20. Very classy. Melody S. from California has sent in 30. You got your little elephant in there. For starts with E. Very smart. Looks really cool. Carmen Broxma from Colorado has sent in 40. We were talking about you, Carmen, before the show started. It's all good, though. It was all good. Lynn S. from Illinois has also sent in 40. What a cute way to put in a gift card. 40's cards a lot, Lynn. Amy, you have sent in 60? Outstanding. Very pretty cards, always. Like that die cut lady. Jackie Muller is our leading lady with 109 cards. We were talking about how that looks truly like fabric. It's beautiful. Smurf Murphy is also one of our leading ladies with 109 cards as well. Completely different style. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Kathy Herring has sent in 113. <clears throat> but, 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 but. Such cute cards. 5K Lamone has sent in 115 cards, making her our leading lady number three of the week. Good looking card with that globe. I like it. Ellen Card Monkey Jarvis, who loves a good purse card, sent in this beautiful selection of cards. Those are really outstanding. And Patty Beck, our former park ranger, sent in this card, and she is our contribution leader. 143 consecutive cards. Welcome to Club 52, Leslie Cool. There are no perks. There are no discounts. There are no special lounges. There are no secret elephant handshakes. There's just Club 52. And we're so glad you've joined us and sent in that many cards. Congratulations, all. You all deserve a kiss on the brain. You know, when the, my... Kids would bring, well, not Steven so much, but when my daughters would have friends over it when they were in high school, and I, they would always stay up later and I would, and I would go around the family room and kiss everybody's heads. I didn't care who they were. I just kissed all their brains and said good night. <laughs> so I'm kissing your brains right now too. Well done. So much fun to celebrate you guys. I'm really proud to know you. All right. I know, I know, those are so cool. 
158 cards, all purse cards. Pretty awesome. Are we ready for Sire? Let's do it. Because this means we're getting closer to the spin time. Aren't we? <laughs> you drew your card last week. I did. Sometimes I'm inspired to draw and I'll I'll take the challenge. It doesn't mean I always finish a card with it, but um right. and you do sometimes. hybrid hybrid cards too, where you use some mm -hmm. cutouts and, and um yep. Some one, one time I too. made a, I drew a fence and put a, a hammer. It was like a haphazard built <laughs> fence, and but the hammer was really proud of the job it did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, somebody's got to be, and sometimes you just gotta stick mm -hmm. up for yourself, even when you're a <laughs> hammer. <laughs> Stephen got whacked by a guy named Hammer once on the sli ski slopes. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. He <laughs> Hammer broke his jaw. He took him out. Oh. To, broke his jaw and Stephen hurt an ACL or something. Anyway, that was a long time ago. And he, when Stephen, he was just a little kid. And he said, well, at least I'll have an interesting story. So, but I kind of forgot about that proud hammer. So, well, this is it. Are you ready? Are you hoping? Oh, yeah, Are you ready? <clears throat> this is the time we're going to bring on the wheel. Yes. There it is. There we are. We're going to be spinning for Project Colors, Element, and Random. Once we spin, we'll know what we're going to be making. Well, sort of. We'll know what we need to include. If you've never been here before, this may be a little muddy right now, but we'll make sense of it, we hope, in just a few minutes. Um, because what we're going to do is we're going to make an art project, usually a card. But we're going to make an art project. We're not going to tell you what to do except to include those four parameters that we spend for. Uh, but first, we have a few things to veto and add on and things like that. The patrons get to decide several elements or several parameters that they don't want on for the wheel to decide for us. If we land on those, we are going to spin again. For color, we do the wheel cannot make us do a complement plus one, number 18. For the element, the patrons have said, no thank you to notes, note or notes. Num yep, you got it right off. And <laughs> I think this one may become the new villain of the patron board, or the pa uh, parameter board. For random, they said, no thank you to faux leather. There it is, number 13. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> See, you like it either. It's, it's like paper clip is hated and faux leather is often hated. And since we don't have purse card on there anymore, we still have robots. And that's often maligned as well. But um, we give you an opportunity. Sire, would you like to veto something? Faux leather. <laughs> is that it's right? <laughs> Yes. Do you want to pick another one? Do you have another? No. Is that right? You're good with no. all the other ones? If we I'm going to pretend gonna that cry. I wasn't going to pick full leather and I was going to veto nothing. <laughs> well, brave man. That's good. That's good. That just means that if we get any of those, the wheel can't make us do that. But you can still use it if you want to and it fits in the parameters we get. Like it doesn't, we don't have a parameter that says no faux leather <laughs> so if you want to do a faux leather and after seeing some of those purse cards i think we could do it um you can still do it so anyway now here's something that's kind of new to us we like to know if you had the perfect parameter set what would you pick sir well if you if anyone knows me well they know that i love all holidays um doesn't matter which one it is, and I love them all. So it is Valentine's, the awesome month of love. And so for projects, I would pick number two, Valentine. Number two, uh, all right. The colors, colors would be red plus two. Okay, number five. I would pick element robot because I actually like robots. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. And to have good. some fun, just to do something spicy and interesting for random, I would pick crumpled paper. Way to go. Crumpled paper is number three. So we'll see if Mr. Wheel will give you a valentine with red plus two robots and crumpled paper. It'd be kind of, that, I think that could make a great card. Mm -hmm. I think so. 
I think so too. Okay, so let's give this guy a warm up. That's right, Caitlin. Good luck. Are you re more relaxed this week, Caitlin, than you were last? It's a good place to be on the other side, huh? For project, will we get Valentine? I hope we get one of them. Number 16, not collage. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> We're going to talk about each one of these. Um, so d hang on, hang on. Colors. Will we get red plus two? Collage can use a lot of different colors or it can be very, not very many colors. Is that uh, number seven? Three pops of red. We were just talking about how we liked the three pops of gold earlier. And for element, what will be our anchor? Not elephant, but element. There were a lot of elephants last time. Number 10, far away. Far away. That was a new one this week. And for random, you're shaking your head, but we'll figure it out. I hope. <laughs> we will. I know we will. Number 18. Vellum or tissue paper? Well, that's kind of like crumple paper. Yeah, exactly. I can get it. I yeah. That. Collage is probably... Probably the... Well, I don't know. Collage and Far Away will want to really dissect here and figure out. If you are new to Craft Roulette, um, we don't teach you anything. <laughs> Sometimes people do learn things inadvertently, but we <laughs> we're, that's not our mission in life. Um, we also don't sell anything, so there's nothing that we can say, oh, here's a product to use. Plus, our turnaround is really fast. If you're not a patron, you only have 48 hours to send in a card. But, um, so we're going to talk about this. We also like to point out that everything has two sides in art, which you would make, a, what you will be making, an art project. Everything will have like the Google literal side that you can go, what is a collage? And you will get a definition via, via Google. But you may have a sensation, you may have in your, somewhere back in your synapses, a from college or high school where you made a collage and you go, yeah, I think I can do this. This is fine. Uh, I can do my own interpretation. So my interpretation of a collage is a bunch of, is working together with different pieces, um, layering and mixed media type thing. What are you thinking? Is that kind of how you would see it? Yeah, it's going to be layers of things, whether it's ephemera or turn, torn up pieces of tissue paper. Right, <laughs> right, know, Mr. Wheel. That, you know, anything that just kind of layers and it kind of just, it doesn't get distracting. It just kind of works together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can have, and vellum and tissue paper is perfect for mm -hmm. this. Another yeah. thing that people may want to use is napkins. Because um, that would be right in there with tissue paper or vellum. Um, so a collage, have you ever made collages? Not usually. I mean, I used to do some spellbinders kits and I would collage. <laughs> but that's a, that's a stretch. But well, there's, not, there you go. It's not my strong suit. Right. It's okay. Now, does it, it, mm -hmm. does it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have the whole piece collaged. You may just have yeah. a small section collaged. In, or you can have like, a stick it, figure holding a sign with a says collage on it. <laughs> <laughs> that would count. That's legal. <laughs> yeah, you could have going to collage. <laughs> and everybody right. going. Let me just get the, my... No, it's college. College. Um, college it's an please. E, college. <laughs> you, you need to go back to high school. But uh, oh, yes, yeah, so well, you could do all sorts of things like that. But if you throw back to last week with um, frame, you could even have a small frame mm -hmm. with a collage little image. Okay. So if you're afraid of the whole big picture collage, you can pull it down and use a small section. You can use it for a border, um, a mat, mm -hmm. anything like that. Just have to include it. We'll be fine. Um, Three pops of red. We got so that's your red at least. You got that. What colors yeah, do you red. think you might might use with that? I think I I'm not sure what I'm doing quite. I think um far away. Let's do far away first and then we'll come back to color. <laughs> you you one. had a 
You had a little bit of a reaction to Far Away. Let me tell you what I was thinking when I added it. Okay. Um, I know there's a lot of people that have stamps because I saw a lot of Eiffel Towers and um, different things from different countries. Well, what's far away for me is not going to be necessarily far away from mm. for somebody else. What my idea of far away is not going to be the same as somebody else's. Um, it may be getting something from far away in your craft room, <laughs> you know, um, like I like we say. It's up to you to interpret it. Do you have, yeah. I mean, for some people getting up and going over to another part of their craft room and picking something up and coming back and doing something before they get sidetracked. No, I, don't I think know that's fair. Like I mean, that. that's a lot of efforts. That's a lot of effort that should be rewarded. <laughs> rewarded. <laughs> especially if you remember what you were thinking of doing. I think that's a, yeah. and not get sidetracked, especially in a room like this that is just <laughs> filled with um, things I can get sidetracked with. So it can be um, all sorts of things. It doesn't have to be, um, maybe it's a memory that was far away. Maybe you just mm -hmm. thought of something and, and you want to collage a photo memory of something that, of a time far away. Maybe, this is great for Anna York. She can do a, another Star Wars card, anything. Mm, yes. Because that's a, from a time far, far away or something like that. So, <laughs> it could also be if you're, if you're playing with if you're, if you're playing with your stamps and you can do the first second generation. The second generation kind of looks like it's further away than the, the first yeah. one, so you can also play with yep. your stamps. Perspective. Perspective is an yeah. excellent way to do far away. Wow, that's fun. That's not nearly as scary. It's not as scary, but almost <laughs> overwhelming yes. because you can do so much. Um, is your is your brain kind of getting hot and steamy? <laughs> is, it, um, is it like going all over the place? It's all Mine over. Is... I'll I'll figure it out. <laughs> I know you will. I know you will. Vellum or tissue paper is a um, you, again. You just need to include it. It doesn't yeah. have to be the main the main part. It just needs to be included. But it can be the main part. Maybe you use it for a technique, like crumpling it, like you were saying. Uh, and use it for a texturizing on your card. That's all fine. Um, three mm -hmm. pops of red. You got red. <laughs> yes. <laughs> your pops can be big pops too. They could be. Yep. They could be big red collaged pops. And then, um, so you can do, you can probably do some val some Valentines with this, don't you think? Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Far away, a Valentine for someone far away. Mm -hmm. I might do something like yeah, you, that too. You can rely on your sentiment, your sentiment to kind of indicate that it's far away. Yeah. Miss you, even if it just says mm -hmm. miss you or something along the, or come see me or let's meet in Bermuda. Sounds great. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> let's have a let's have fun con in Bermuda this year. Okay. So all right. Well, you've got some ideas going. Oh, did we well we talked a little bit about vellum or tissue paper, how you could use it for technique or part of the collage. It's perfect for collaging. Mm -hmm. So you can just um rip it up, crumple it up, glue it on, ink it, stamp it, make it happen. Use it in the background, use it in the foreground, use it as a technique. It is all over the place. It's a really handy, our handy random. Not a, It's not a random that is going to make us go, how do I fit that stupid thing in? <laughs> so, okay. I think I think we can do, work with this. I'm encouraged. Are you? I think so. Okay. All right. <laughs> you, I think you're going to do fine. Good. I think I you're going to so. do fine. I think we kind of got some ideas going now. And you guys are out there just doing all sorts of ideas that I haven't gotten a chance to. Right. Hawaii. If you have some some kind of, um, you could do, yeah, if it's far away, why not? Mm -hmm. Right. It's far away for me. Um, a map. That's a good idea, Allie, for showing distance. A long distance hug. That's really good. Miss Rosie. Um <laughs> Lynn Sanders is ready for fun con in Bermuda. Um, 
I think it's probably a little expensive. We wouldn't be able to buy stamps for years if we did it there. Um, long distance phone call. That would be cute for far away. Yeah, there anything. Yeah, Grandma Gay, our stretchy pants, they're happening tonight. But we've been stretching those things. But no, I don't think we've ever popped our elastic yet. So we're okay. Uh, movie. Oh, Shrek movie is called Far, Far Away. So you could do a Shrek. Please tell us in the description if you have something like that. Because I don't go to movies very often. And I live under a rock, a paper rock. But uh, I do live under a rock. So I don't know anything very often pop culture related. Anyway, that's that's my choice, and I'm happy with it. All right. Well, let's hear what we don't do on Fun University now, and we'll be back with some stuff to work on. Hope you guys will join us. Sire, all the best to us. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> do you find crafting hard? Are you stuck on one of those pesky parameters? Do you feel like the wheel is watching you while you craft? We have the solution for you. Hi, I'm Mary Gunfun. While I'm busy gathering my supplies, I just wanted to tell you about my other YouTube channel, youtube.com slash fun university. We break down the parameters and talk about them at a more in-depth level. We also pick one tricky one to concentrate on and do a deep dive into it. <laughs> but that's not all. We do our mail call every week on the channel as well. So if you wanted to send me a card or a package, send it to this address and I'll share it on the show. We're live almost every Tuesday night on youtube.com slash fun university. We also do some celebration there because we will review our last week's achievement board. That's youtube.com F-U-N-N University. No easy or complicated payments. No COD. Just show up and have fun. If you have too much fun, please call a friend immediately and invite them over to have fun with you. Normal postage and handling rates do apply. This ad was not paid for by anybody. We hope Mary is ready because I can't stretch this out any longer. Now back to the show. Hello. Here I am trying to work it out. Okay. So what do I have? What do I have? What do I have? I have for my collage, I've got my tissue paper ready, which I just happen to have in my stash there. Um, I've got, so I could do three pops of red and I think they will be big pops. And then for far away, I do like the idea of sending a Valentine to somebody far away, even though I never send my cards from craft roulette so it will have to be a virtual <laughs> card <laughs> or oh here's the other thing i got these these are just um pictures from my mother-in-law and it was from a time far away so i've got these to work with three pops of red i may be bringing in the neutrals for um my other two color oh i don't have other two colors it's just three pops of red that's all there is that's an easy thing our neutrals are black, gray, brown, tan, cream, ecru, white, and metallics that we throw in. You can use as many as those as you want. You can use them for your colors, except that you do have to use pops of red. So I got this paper <laughs> and I was making, I don't know what size I was trying to make, but it didn't work. And so now I, I just cut a weird shape. So now I'm going to collage this. I brought this over to see if I want to use it, but I'm not sure. I kind of like the idea of kind of a modern looking heart thing with some old fashioned pictures that I can collage. I haven't collaged in a long time. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're good pictures. And these were the pictures of people I didn't know when I went through them. Nope, there's, I know him. That's my father-in-law. I did know him. Look at this grand picture. She must have, she's got like a flight suit on. Don't know. And look at these wonderful horse pictures. 
grand, grand, grand. Look at how they dressed. Oh, my stars. Oh, there's, that's my mother-in-law. I won't, I don't want to mess up her picture. <laughs> but these are just some copies, so it's fine. So if I have a, okay, so thinking of Valentine-y type things. I kind of like the horses. Because I kind of like horses. So I might collage. I'm now here's the thing. I'm going to use a small area to collage because I don't want to. I don't want it to be hard. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. This Monica Taylor, if you're here, this is your kind of thing, isn't it? She is. She just said in Are, the chat. Oh, very good. Yep, you're going to be good at this. Looks like a vintage card in the making. I think so too. Far away from a time far away. This is from the 1940s. So that will be, that'll be fine. Okay, so if I stamp and then I collage tissue paper on top, you'll be able to see the stamps underneath. Won't you? Let's try it. You know, let's try it. What the heck is paper? And I'm up for trying it and seeing what happens. Three pops of red. I, it feels kind of like uh, the uh, 12 days of Christmas. Three pops of red, except that's five. Okay, we're going to start trying. <laughs> okay, how are we doing? Pretty good. This is kind of, kind of insipid there. Kind of loose or not very dark. It'll be okay. How's Sire doing? I, I hear him being quite busy. <laughs> you can have more than three pops of red. But you have to have at least three pops of red, right? Well, what is a pop? <laughs> you have to have three bottles of beer and pops on it's your all, car. It, you, if you have three pops of red and then have other red that isn't a pop... You know, <laughs> three and not pops, three less than pops of red. All right, we're gonna bring Sarah back. Okie doke. All right, sir, what you got going? Oh my goodness! Well, I got lots of tissue paper, <laughs> so I will pick it's, my colors. It's handy to have. I, I've never collaged with tissue paper, so I want to try. And what a okay. great time to start. <laughs> right here that's right and then Why i have not? this little stamp that i got lo loving from far away so there's my valentine's and Perfect. i'll figure out two things to put between that and i'm thinking of something but i'm going to keep it a little bit of a surprise okay all right i like it i like it <laughs> that way if it's not what it looks like then i can just pretend <laughs> I, you, well, you are kind of a surprise in your own right, I think. You just kind of always surprise us. <laughs> kind of like, well, what's he doing this time? I'm going to do your crumpled paper uh, crinkle inkle thing, I think. So I get some pattern on the back, in the background here. I might, I just got some, uh, my machines all over the place, so. <laughs> oh the all the tools well what do you think his surprise is guys i have no idea none zip zero nada i wonder if you tear this okay so then what do you do monica help me help me Okay, so maybe I'm just gonna mess this up a little bit. So for tearing, you just kind of just tear and paste it. Is that what collage is? <laughs> I think so. That's how I see I it. So, right? Who do we? Who, has anybody given us a definition? I like these colors. I can use yes. my crinkle ankle. 
to collage onto it. This might get a little. Now I'll just kind of throw these on and fix it up. Kind of my method of madness is just lay things down and play and they just magically come together. I'm missing it. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Producer was giving me ideas. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> oh, just talking. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Yep. We'll get this guy kind of. On your card base, collage the entire card front. Just collage this whole thing. That thing on That's what Sire's doing. You're collaging your background, aren't you? Yeah. And I think this is meant for. I think this is meant for collaging, isn't it? This stuff, multimedia map. And this one. Oh, but that's, and make that. Yes, I think you can use matte medium. Yes. Which, thank you for reminding me because I have some. <laughs> I probably, people are probably shaking their heads. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can. Maybe you can't. <laughs> you know I'm not really a very good to listen to there's some, but this is this isn't clear this is why is it white or clear i think mine's white i i think it's clear yeah that's what i should have had shoulda woulda coulda not and i'm not going with any rhythm i'm just placing stuff down well, there's some, there's actually I a, I had a book on collage one time and it was kind of like, but isn't it kind of a free form in a way? Yeah, <laughs> so, and so the book in itself was kind of like, why do I have to have a book on collage when it shouldn't be hard? But it <laughs> seems hard. <laughs> right. It does seem hard. It does. It does. That's why I just, I'm just going at it. I don't yes. want to think too much about it. No, it's Friday night, man. Let's just do yeah. this. I'm just going to start ripping stuff. Yeah. See, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sarah, I think the wheel probably is, knows you have the ability. And he just was like, let's bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> let's. Let's not give him anything super easy. Let's, no, of course not, right? Let's give him something that we know he can do, but he may not know he can do. The only thing about this is that I think my card base is going to warp, but that's okay. Well, Just a lot of liquid. I probably could have done this on a panel and then pasted the panel on, so then it's not too warpy. But, but maybe you can use that to your artistic advantage. Yes. We'll pretend. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Do you have a baby wipe or anything to wipe your hands off with? Is this this is a messy kind of of thing sometimes? Oh, that's a hot mess. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I like to hear. <laughs> it doesn't scare me. Mr. Wheel collage won't scare me. It has been a long time. I Katie Taylor had collage. That was how long ago. And it was before we were over 100 episodes. Way before. And so it has been. So I have this minute. guy set that speaks me. Like if you want to know me, this is it. And so I got that from Tim Holtz. Or says it's the new one. And that's what I'm going to play with today. Kind of just abstract forms. Yes. Yeah. And clean. Now, can you do a clean collage? Because this is, mine's kind of messy. But you can do a clean I collage. I think clean collage would be kind of, well, I mean, you could, but. Can you? I guess so. <laughs> I don't know why you can't. It's an art project, right? <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> well, okay. Picasso. I always go, I always pick on poor Picasso. His, he had some collagey looking things that were very clean. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't have, you could do, I think you're going to 
use let that stamp set effectively for something like that where you just piece things together yeah i actually like pieces i one thing i love to do is um go on cricket or sorry download some svgs and then break them apart into layers and then cut mm -hmm. them in cricket and just glue them back together to make actually i gave one to jay thomas the one who won mm -hmm. his wisdom teeth pulled out instead of a purse card I gave him a cat for his birthday, um, <laughs> and it's just that. It's just a bunch of pieces just put back together again to make a, a, a shape with theirs. I like doing that. Yeah. It's kind of like quilting, except easier, because <laughs> anything <laughs> is easier than quilting. <laughs> I'll take your word for that. Quilting does look fascinating, <laughs> but I think I'll... I probably will never know. get into it. I'm just, I'm, I'm anticipating that it would be easier than quilting. Does this have a white <laughs> core? I think so. Because right. I don't know. Okay. But, okay, so collage, I think of highly textured, but that may or may not be true. I'm thinking, I'm going, I'm kind of blending mixed media thinking and collage thinking, but I don't think that's completely off base. Well, I think yours is looking good. It's looking different. <laughs> I don't. But I do like my I little will lady. Always, I will always root for the artistic weird. <laughs> it's just <laughs> how I am. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to put elephants on top of each other with purses like come on that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> like i would not i, I would I never was... like what does this mean i don't understand <laughs> <laughs> explain this nonsense <laughs> why do you have a stack of ma'am why do you have a stack of elephants you do know it's physically impossible for elephants to stand on top of each other <laughs> <laughs> that's cruelty <laughs> Well, at least so far. Yeah. <laughs> where, oh, where? Oh, where? I don't know. There we go. So, okay, so some, I've noticed that you do a little bit of humming, which is lovely. <laughs> Do you hum, do you hum anything in particular or just uh, it general? depends what it is. If I'm nervous, then it's a bunch of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> and it's more so. of a coping a calming coping mechanism. <laughs> okay. Otherwise right. I might belt into a, a full blown singing session. <laughs> <laughs> so do you listen to music when you're crafting? Or do you watch I usually videos? To, yes. I, I would say anytime I want to be creative, music is a must. And, mm -hmm. and it will totally depend on what I'm feeling. So I'm not judgmental to any music. I think they all have their place. And I actually like pretty much every genre, even the crazy ones. But they have their place. And sometimes you just need to be calm or sometimes you just need to belt it out and, and it really creates different art. It really, so. Yeah. Five percent rule applies to music. There's gonna be five percent of any genre that's really good. In mm. my opinion. Even if you don't like the genre, you can still find that small section of it that is legitimately yeah. high quality music. I, I completely agree with that. And anyone who disagrees, it's just, they're just stuck in wanting to, <laughs> no, no, no. I like this. I don't like that. So, which is fine. If that's what you want, I'm okay yeah. with that. I tend to listen to the same things over and over. <laughs> Cause it, I forget in between how pretty they are. I'm going to do something that uh, Desiree 
Oh, because I don't. I think I've mentioned it before. Desiree is one of the very first people I've watched on YouTube when card making. She really inspired uh -huh. me, and she loves collaging. Um, oh, nice. She she does uh, vintage photo on a lot Everything. of her stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that is what I'm going to do because I think it's fitting that I do something that inspired me when I first got into card making. <laughs> You're a little off screen. Is that better? Yeah. Well, I think that's very nice of you to pay tribute. There we go. Okay. I think we're going to roll right through this. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. You know, I came in just saying yeah. I don't... I'm just going to have fun. And it doesn't matter what... What the outcome is, as long as yep. I have fun with you and everyone else, that's all. That Thank matters. that's that's all I really care about too. It's just yeah. like let's just it's Friday night. Let's just cut back and just have enjoy our craft. Where was I putting this? Oh yeah, I want some more stuff though. I, want, I wonder if I know where my if I had thread. Nikes, I have thread. It's a good day. I found my sanding block and I found my thread. I'm having a good night. Thank you, sire. <laughs> I am going to dig out the questions that our patrons have for you. But first, I want to ask you, sir, your blog title is Craft Crab. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> You are like the antithesis of a crab. So um, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the inspiration on that, but I got nothing. Um, is, th is there a story? It was, um, I was actually looking for a name for my Etsy shop. And my brother and her and his wife, sorry, were um, helping me. And we were just talking. I can't remember who came with it. I think it was me. But we just heard crap crab and I just laughed my my <laughs> I laughed. <laughs> and um so then I just knew it doesn't matter if it makes sense or not, because I laughed so much that it had to be it. <laughs> and um but that's why I picked it and okay. nothing more than that. Okay. Cause you I didn't know if it was like one of those stories. That you were walking along the beaches and you saw a crab and he inspired you to do something and um you went for it and the crab went and bit you and, and you all started <laughs> walking sideways <laughs> and, and, and he was absolute obviously a very crabby crab or, but yeah. he looked like he could do if only he did crafts he would be pleasant exactly and he couldn't because he can't hold scissors Right, because he's he, he tries, <laughs> but it's just a frustration, and that would be a it would be a terrible thing. It would. It really would. I would be crabby. <laughs> <laughs> For I think a locker in the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> just awful. By the way, if you look down below, you will see um, Sire's website, and you can. Or I, no, 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 no. His YouTube. And go ahead and subscribe to that while you're here, be while we think of it. And if you have a crafty friend, I forgot to say this earlier, if you do have a crafty friend that you think would enjoy meeting Sire and spending some time with us, please share and give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate that. <laughs> See, I didn't have it in my notes, and so I forgot. Uh, are you a note keeper or a list keeper? Do you have electronics that do that for you? Or are you? I am manual? the most unorganized person you'll find. <laughs> Which is not good because I'm very forgetful. <laughs> Which... <laughs> That's a combination. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you didn't forget to show up tonight. You haven't forgotten anything here. It's, it's yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I think okay. what it is is if it's, if I'm not focused, um, then that's when I'll, I'll forget. And I was, I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little stressed about today. Yeah. So it was very hard to forget what I was stressed about. 
<laughs> well, there's that. Yeah. Nothing like a situation to make you remember what's going on. It does help when it's, it makes it a little more in front. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we're starting to get some questions. Oh, look at those little guys. <laughs> um, we're starting to get some questions about your allegiance to Team Orange or Team Purple. Oh, this is where wars start, right? Yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> Go tre tread carefully into yeah, this Yeah, the land. people who used to like me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. This is, this is it. No, they're all nice. You know that. But, of course. So, and I'll still like it, even if you're not the Team Orange person. It's fine. I haven't unfriended anybody yet, based on those terms. <laughs> you just keep notes. Yes, I do. I have those spreadsheets. <laughs> Team Purple. Team Orange. To be considered. I, yeah. I have considered so, and I am definitely Team Orange. I see, think it's a... It's yeah. an unappreciated, beautiful color, um, and I, I, it's in me to always root for the underdog. I can root for my favorite team and then realize that the other one is the underdog, and I'll start changing team. And orange is just that color that that doesn't get the. the it doesn't love it get deserves. the respect, does it? No, it doesn't. I beautiful think color. Right. It is. It is a beautiful color. They. Um, Sunsets would not be the same without it. No. Not even close. Although, a purple sunset would actually be pretty cool. <laughs> well, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there is kind of a, a phase in the sunset where you do have some kind of purpley yeah. stuff going on. Oh, those guys are so cute. See what I mean? If you have never been around Sire, look at this, what he's doing. He's just this unique little character. Do you have a story in your head about these little Anukshuks? <laughs> <laughs> they kind of remind me of those little rock statues that we learned from. It does, actually, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, wasn't what I was going for, but yes, they look like that. I don't think I have a story yet. Usually the story... I don't force a story. I just, I sit there, <laughs> look at the card, and something comes to me. That's why they're always different. It's not always just a story. It could be just a little description. And I try to set the sentiment in it. Like that one time I had the, the dragon pumpkins. I, <laughs> I just thought how cute that was and how sad it would be if he couldn't have his pumpkins. So the, the whole story was just, yes, you can sweet uh, i think it was like sweet pumpkin or something like that hey pumpkin hey pumpkin yes you can pick your pumpkin and go <laughs> so yep it's you can't force art very well no. it feels Here's worse kind of like this one you know this looks a lot better on t on the screen than it does in person <laughs> i'm just and so if it looks bad on the screen it look at just uh -oh. imagine what i'm looking at but yeah we'll do okay yeah well it's i'll think twice about putting the collage back on though <laughs> it seemed like a good idea <laughs> at the time <laughs> oh gwen si simmons not simon's mary gun gwen si simmons i did it again <laughs> asks <laughs> how did you get started in paper crafting and we told us a little bit but um, you you wanted to try something new, right? And you you've always been a crafter in heart. I've always done, actually in card heart. making has been something I've done since I was young. I would actually make handmade cards for my dad, um, mm -hmm. and I would always draw Hallmark's logo on the back of it. <laughs> and I did it once, and he laughed and loved it. I just never stopped doing it, except one year I forgot, and that was the first thing he pointed out was. You know, that, that was missing its. So that's my start. And then, of course, um, the reason I started getting back into it was my partner actually suggested I, I make them and that try to sell them okay. and that he would help me if I was to start. That mm -hmm. never happened. 
<laughs> but I got hooked. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. They are lovely little things to make. Hmm. They just are. Yeah. They're just, just delightful have a lot of fun. little. And it's a great time pass. Mm -hmm. And you just you just have to um, get past that. At least for me, I always speak from experience. I just you just have to get past that everyone is doing better than you. Oh, and yes. it's not true. No. And for me, I can't look at social media too much um, because that creeps in. So I, I know my limits. I will mm -hmm. just sneak in a little bit, say some nice words to encouragement. But um, yeah, you just got to get past that. And then everything is just so relaxing and fun. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, you, if there's somebody hurt. out in that's watching you tonight and they've never sent in a card... What, did, what were your thoughts when you first sent in a card? I, I was up for the challenge. I'm like, you know, let's just let's Try just it. see what, um, what, what what's the worst that could happen. And right. I just just have fun. And um, boy, was I pleasantly surprised when I was literally bombarded with awesome comments and, and support. <laughs> and so, I mean, yeah, so it was just win-win. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of the things when you first you've done process videos for Craft Roulette using yeah. Craft Roulette project or parameters. Yeah. And that was one of the first things I noticed about you is uh, you would say, well, they they apparently give prizes away, but their community is so nice. <laughs> They're just so <laughs> nice. And um, it's just such a positive place. And we were talking about that before we started tonight, too. And so kudos mm -hmm. to everybody in in the community or culture because you are well known for your kindness. And that's pretty doggone cool, if you ask me. Doggone <laughs> cool. Yeah, so we're glad that you took that plunge. I, when I first started doing challenges, I would get so nervous. It would be like... I'm going to, I'm going to put something in. I am, I am, I am. I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to do such a good job. And I was so nervous yeah. and I hit that submit and then I would sit there and wait. <laughs> it's like, yeah. oh man, somebody's going to say something stupid. They're going to not like it. Somebody else is going to get more nice comments than I am. And so you're seeing my, my, my own weakness here, but still it was, it is, it's like you're putting yourself out there and it's a little bit scary yeah. sometimes. And I, I just, I would say that no matter how often you think you've conquered it and you think, oh, I, I won't get scared, it, it can happen again. Yeah. Um, it, and most likely it will happen again. It's going to be something you just have to to embrace and, and love the fact that you care that much about yourself, yes. um, that you worry, yes. and just keep moving forward. Never never stop because of fear. That's the one, one rule. That's why I did this, because the first thought was, no, um, that's scary. <laughs> but then I was like, no, but I want to do it. So why am I saying no? Right. So that is, I, I would tell anyone, and and I use it once again, it's just from experience. Um, yeah. Just be careful with making decisions based on fear. Right. Because you miss out on a lot of things. Right. Sometimes it's not a bad thing. <laughs> I was talking about yeah. something oh, today that I was, yeah. I said yeah. not to do it. because I was a little freaked out by it. But it was Fear not, um, it wasn't though. alone. Yeah. Well, it was because I was, I may never be seen again if I get on an airplane by myself. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm like super, anyway, whatever. But there were other, other reasons. But uh, Gwen would, also uh, asked, Gwen, the great questioner of, of the group here, she also yep. asked, do you have a favorite card size, like Slimline, A2, 5x7, or a fun fold that you like the best? I will stick to A2 just because it's I don't have to think too much. Right. Um, so that's definitely my go-to. Um, so that is one benefit of Craft Roulette is that mm -hmm. I am forced to try new things. Yeah. I put A9 on the board. I saw point. that, and I was Ugh. speaking to my friend who's who's watching. Uh, we had mm -hmm. a good laugh. I said, if I get A9, I know exactly what I'm going to do. And it's going to be the <laughs> cheekiest thing. It's got, oops, I just got stuff in there. You can, see, you can tell I'm nervous. Um, I'm just going to fill the parameters right in the very center of that card and leave it all blank. 
<laughs> that was my goal. Yeah. But yeah, it's a it's my fair. retaliation to a, such a large. <laughs> Well, Mr. Producer was saying, well, somebody will just put A9. Actually, oh, that's just smart. write A9 on there if they don't have anything else. Or just a nine. A nine. <laughs> so it could be all sorts of things. But an A9 is a size. It's taking a, I think it's like a an eight and a half by 11 folded in half. Yeah, it's that's huge. What, it's huge. <laughs> And it fits, so I have it right here. It's and it fits in this big, big, big thing. And um, wow. so here is a a A two. That's how much bigger an A nine is. It doesn't even yeah, fit on the screen. Look how big it is. <laughs> it is so, huge. <laughs> yeah. Whew. That's gonna. That's gonna. I don't know who I. I don't wish that on me. I don't. I don't know me. I think it's okay that we have it on there. We'll leave it on there. We'll get it. Of course. We'll be fine. Yeah. We Jim grumble Gross. and then we we grumble and then we do so well. You know, that is exactly right. Look at purse cards. Exactly. Purse cards. Perfect example. Purse cards. What were we afraid of? Next time you're afraid, all you have to do is say, I did a purse card. <laughs> I have mm -hmm. nothing in the world to be afraid of. I can handle all crafts. All crafts are all at my crafts. disposal. All crafts. Um, Jen Gross, who we were talking about before the show, asked, and I love this question, Jen. If you could design your own stamp line, what kind of images would we see? Oh, that's a good question. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Um, it, I don't think I would have any... I wouldn't be limited. I would... Whatever pops in my head, I would just just create it, and it would just most likely be simple but abstract, simple and weird, um, but not mm -hmm. too weird. I don't know how how would I would put that into words, but mm -hmm. based on the things that you've seen me create, that's kind of what I would make my image based on. Do you think you'd ever try? I don't know if I have the confidence that I can draw well enough because I, I, I know, I know, but you know, it takes a long time for me to, sorry, I misplaced my red paper. Um, it takes me a while <laughs> just to draw something. Right. And so then I just, you know, then your confidence kind of drops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you can always do a digital thing. Oh, yeah. And then you don't have the... And you can always do a crazy looking collage with a horse in it. Person. <laughs> I don't know about this one. This one actually, it really does look better. I don't. I don't, I should only look at it on the screen. It looks better looking good to me. up there. I love the black and See? red. Because you're looking on the screen, but if you look at it here, it's like. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, that's a good question, Jen. I, I don't. I don't think I'd like to see that in the future someday. A line by Sire, Cheryl I, Jackson. You know what? Go ahead, go I would ahead. be proud. I would. I would be proud. I would, and I would totally do it. Um, if the opportunity was there, and I felt mm -hmm. confident at that point mm -hmm. in time. Mm -hmm. So, if somebody came to you and said, "Hey, I really me. want, I really want to see you do a a stamp for me," you would try, right? Yeah, I would definitely try, and um, you you get what you get. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I would work with I would work with them, but it's you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's not what you go to bed at night and say, oh, you know, tomorrow my goal is to draw a stamp set. Or yeah, a stamp exactly. line. Yeah, yeah. That's it's a hard thing, I think, to stay ahead and unique, and but you are unique, so you'd have you'd have that ahead of the game. So. <laughs> You do see things in a remarkably unique way. And I'm saying that with all all kindness. I don't mean that. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. All. So Cheryl Jackson, she's going to take you. She's going to talk to you about where you live. She says, I was ah. born and raised in Victoria and lived there for over 40 years. When you ah. need to rejuvenate, do you go to the ocean or the forest, downtown, 
what's your favorite park in Vic Victoria? And then she says, I miss it so much. I just want to talk about Victoria all the time. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Victoria is a wonderful, beautiful place. And I'm sure there's lots of beautiful places around the world, but this is one of them. And far, it's far the forest. 1% or sorry, 100%, not 1%, percent I percent the forest. Uh, I love it. It makes me feel alive. It makes me feel great. It, it helps me clear my mind. Uh -huh. And the one that I like going to is King Francis Park, I believe. And I might have got that backwards because I, I do that. But if you're familiar <laughs> with that one, then that's the one. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Well, maybe Cheryl is a patron too. When you guys come on the patron call, maybe you guys could tell us a little bit more about Victoria. Well, take over I actually, talking about Victoria. <laughs> oh, look at looky right there. It says a new contribution. That's a new feature by Mr. Producer. We've already got some cards coming in. And oh, he did it. Oh, I missed it. Yes. I heard him say it last they, week. He's going. Oh. Yeah, he did it. And so they it just drops down, has a little confetti. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Very, very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else send in a card and we'll get so we Yeah, so we can see it. it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. That look, we love confetti well, around here. Totally love it. Congrats, Stephen, for the awesome features. <laughs> we just sit around and think of new ways to make it fun. Why do I always glue? I glue f way too early. And then I, I glue start too thinking heavy. of it is a it is a problem but i won't i don't seem to be able to adjust to changing it very well so that's a great question cheryl i actually have been in victoria in british columbia but it was way before you were born i was a kid and my parents put us in the car and we went to mexico crossed the border went all the way up through canada uh, california Oregon mm -hmm. and Washington went over yeah. and had some French fries. <laughs> I remember we went and had French fries in Canada, and y'all use vinegar on I'll your French it, fries. Or um, malt, malt vinegar. Yeah, and I was scandalized <laughs> as a child. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't, I don't what do yeah, it was it was too weird for this Kansan. And it was just like vinegar wow, and that's... salt. It's, it's amazing. But I love vinegar and salt potato chips. So maybe I've grown into mm -hmm. being a little more exotic. <laughs> and <laughs> things far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were ketchup and salt, <laughs> man. That's right. That's right. That's me all the way. Let's see if she'll eat this. <laughs> <laughs> let's give her some malt vinegar oh man oh man roberta sadler has a question oh another one just dropped in uh roberta sadler uh, says sire thank you for doing the show tonight and she says i know you do a lot of paper cutting on your cricket and making beautiful cards and then she asks which is your favorite? Do you like layering stamp sets or do you prefer to color the images yourself? Oh, Which so do you tough. like? You know, that little cat that you had in the coffee cup? Yep. yep. That would be a, a case of layering, but you also colored. Yes. So that one. Yes. That's putting two things together. That I really like I, I, I really you like, like one part the... better. Well, I would say I like the stencils because it's new to me. Um, okay. So I really enjoyed just layering stencils. They're just so much fun. Um, mm -hmm. So I would say I'll say that just for the answer to the question. I'll say that one because it's newer. <laughs> That's fair. It is fun. Do you like the flowers, or what do you what are you been using? Um. They're mostly flowers. Uh, mm -hmm. I have a couple of things from Taylor Expressions. They they have some pretty neat things. One's a snowflake, and the other one is it's like a fall theme. It's it creates these three cards. Um, yeah, I whatever whatever I can get my hand on, I'll give it a try. <laughs> yeah, because you're not going to be afraid. You're not going to be afraid if somebody puts 
malt liquor or not malt liquor, but malt, malt liquor. Yes, yeah. well, I don't know what kind of French fries you're eating. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they what did they what did they raise me on after all? <laughs> oh that my gosh. And we do have one more question, and you know what it is. Grandma you don't Gay. know the question, but it is no. the thoughtful question of the day from our rock star, Grandma Gay. <laughs> Who was going to have out of town guests tonight come into her, uh, arrive at her house? And she said, they're just going to have to take care of themselves for a while. And because <laughs> I'm sense. watching the show. <laughs> So Hi, Grandma. <laughs> I said, just put the kettle on and leave them some written instructions on how to brew themselves a cup of tea and some French fries with some kind of liquor or vinegar or something. But yep, so she's watching you because she's a fan. So she asks, Mr. Matchstick <laughs> is looking for a partner for adventure, an adventure. Will he choose a rock, another stick, or... What does your card look like when you finish this scenario? She knows you. <laughs> <laughs> She's got your number. Oops. Don't um, you think? Yeah, that's a good one. You don't have to repeat it, though, because okay. I, yeah. Yeah, I'll be happy to. Mr. Matchstick is looking for a partner for an adventure. Will he choose a rock? Another stick, or what does your card look like after you finish that sen the scenario? It would definitely be another stick. <laughs> kind of like your little robot rocks. Robot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but yeah. <laughs> they yeah. are supposed to be robots, but with the shapes that I'm limited to. Right, right. Well done. <laughs> well played. So it would be another, and so what would your card look like? Would you use collage? No. <laughs> Will but, you ever collage again? <laughs> let's pretend I did, and everything was perfect, and I would do the tissue more like a, a flame. So it would probably be the, the red, yellow, and orange, and I would kind of use the tissue paper to kind of make it look like flames rippling. And then okay. it would be the two sticks, one being the match, match stick and the other one being the stick. Similar to this, um, and it'd be along those lines. That's that's where my brain would take me. Imagination. <laughs> do you when you go to bed? Do you have trouble sleeping because you think of things, or are you just worn out? And I'm usually just no worn trouble. out. Just worn out. Yeah, yeah. My thoughts come to me when I just sit here and just, just, just sit, just sit and just be with myself, and then the ideas just flow. If right. I try to force myself, that's why I said at the very beginning, I'm not going to even try to under do what I do because if I try to make something, I can't. It, it, my my brain will blank. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen it happen. I've had I've had it happen here. It's a it's a horrible experience. I can tell you that. <laughs> Without yeah, where you just go, oh dear. I think I want this. It was the um, robot with the cornhole game was one of those. I tried to make it happen and it didn't happen and it was awful. <laughs> so I can tell you it's awful. So that's that's okay. What are you thinking on your card, sir? I think it's darn cute. I think it's it needs a little bling. I just don't think I have any on hand that I can think of. Yeah. They're probably stored that's away okay. somewhere. But I'll that's probably okay. add them afterwards. Right. I do that. I do that. So don't worry about it. Well, I, our cards are not at all the same. I think that's fair to say. <laughs> there it is. Looky, looky. Heather oh. Wong has done it. See it? Congratulations, it's a, Heather. <laughs> it's got a little image of her card. That is awesome. Oh, there goes Louie and Johnson with her. I'm, I'm going to have so oh, much now, trouble now. not watching. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just watch that. Yeah, let's, let's just watch the cards come in. It's like the pre-slideshow slideshow. <laughs> I like it. All right, so for collage, I made one big hot mess, and I 
I'm sticking with it. So there's all sorts of paper. There's I use the tissue paper and I made a collage and I collage the collage and the collage and it could it got kind of a kind of <laughs> it's mixed media collagey devil may care kind of card that's how it is that's just how it is we've got three pops of red plus a bunch of red but we have three mm-hmm. in the in the sequence there and then far away is from a time far away nice and um is sending has the word sending you hugs and kisses so um intimating that it's a far it's going away somewhere so this is not how i thought i would do far away when i put it on the on the parameters not at all but you know that old wheel he he has his ways yeah what do you tell walk us through your red and white and black i love that combination well it's a it's a it's a classic isn't it yeah hard to go wrong but i came close so tell me what about your card sire so i got my collage of just randomly colored tissue paper that i had in my stash Mm -hmm. i'm not sure if that's a teal and a maroon and then my three red popped red is the you know the joints on a robot <laughs> i guess someone <laughs> painted them red and so that's yeah. where they go and then the heart the connecting yep. them two together and Lovely. then the crumpled paper is oh wait, robots sorry the robots no far away is the message loving you right. from far away and then the crumpled paper tissue paper in the back you which did is it tissue paper. Yeah. Are you surprised? No, I, I like I said, once I knew just to not think about it, then <laughs> then you're happy with whatever comes out. <laughs> right. Right. It's right. It's true. It's like, well, it, I don't know if I could have done any better if I wasn't doing it here on this. If I was like, OK, it's Saturday morning. I've been thinking about these four parameters all night and. Let me come up with something. I, it would have probably still been kind of a crazy collagey mess, but it's, you know, that's, I don't usually collagey stuff. I'm much cleaner mm-hmm. style. So yeah, me too. it is, it, it's fine, but it it's hard. It's not a natural. I'm not a natural, even though I live, my studio is pretty much a collage. It's a room, a collage room. It's just <laughs> layers upon layers. <laughs> so I, that's a, I never thought of that, but my craft room is a collage. That could there be, you go. That you could be a collage. new uh, cleaning or a new organizing video. <laughs> I don't right. like, does it spark joy? Does it collage? Did you need to collage your room? Okie doke. Well, that's enough of that. So I, I'm going to let you rest and relax just for a few minutes. We're going to tell everybody how they get to play along with us because I know they're going to want to. And mm-hmm. who's coming up and thank our patrons and we'll come back and say goodnight with you and kiss our brains. How's awesome. that sound? Sounds great. You look no worse for the wear. I'm so glad we got you here. We are going to want to see how you could use these four parameters. Collage, pop three pops of red, far away. How are you going to interpret that? And vellum or tissue paper. It's your art project. If there's something you don't think we're going to see right off, please leave it in the description. You've got 48 hours to put it in at craftroulette.live. There is a form. Please fill it out. If you need more time and you know you want to make this card and send it in, become a patron for a very small amount of money. (laughs) And then you have till Thursday night. We do have some wonderful guests. We have fine art, Heather Telford. You know, she would probably come up with something real pretty. And um, coming up next week, Sarah, Liz, Lynn, I keep, Liz, I keep, that H throws me off every time. Star Oscar, it will be coming on. Gina K. after that, Bitty Penny, and then we will be send, celebrating our third anniversary with Crafty Al. Lots more coming, too. We're, we are scheduled through May, or to May. We got a pop up. Donna Cannon, a new patron, is already. Ooh, look at that one. I like that one. You know, you could use pattern paper that looks like a collage, too. You wouldn't even have to do it yourself. Why didn't I think of that? Anyway, all right, that's okay. Give yourself a break, Mary Gunn. Thank you, patrons. Like I said, we do have a new graphics card. Thank you. It was over $300, wasn't it, Mr. Purdue? Oh, daggummit. It was over $300. So, and you know, he doesn't get, he doesn't just get to go and spend money. He's got to almost, 
he's got a I've got I was listening to him last night talking to his brother saying well you need this and that and we're at this capacity and all that and all the problems that we have because we don't have this and that and and it's it started to make sense so it was like okay go get it just go get it so it's okay we're all good but thank you it's because of you guys that we're here free every friday night or almost every friday and um we thank you so very much we do have that all patron call coming up club fun we will see you monday night for our first of the three club fun zoom calls of the month and join us and then um i think it's on valentine's day that we have our second one and then the last saturday of the month if you like to hang out with the grooviest craftettes and crafters on the planet you may want to join us we don't just scrapbook but i sure do look at my boomy i did a scrapbook with boomy oh he's so cute he's got to lose 15 pounds <laughs> he went to the vet today 15 pounds what a corn dog I don't know. He's it's so hard to say no to him when he wants a cookie. And Kerwin loves a cookie too. He hears that word, hey, you want a cookie? And Kerwin goes right up to the cabinet where the cookies are and sits there. Like a dog. Anyway, that's our household. These are the people on the board that um sent in a card last week. Like I said, you're not gonna want to miss a single solitary week. We've got fabulous giveaways this month and uh man i would want to i would send in a card please send in your very best work even when this is your, your best work this is your best work you know that's okay and there's nobody that we don't want to hear from so send in your best work do your best photograph and send us your cards it's wonderful we will see you on the monday blog or website and then we'll see you next friday for the slideshow so we want to see your stuff what are we giving away first, Mr. Producer? I think it's a handmade card with a nitty bitty gift. Who doesn't want that? Okay. Who's who's gonna get it? Will it be far, far away? <laughs> You're right, Allie. Kerwin is a smart cookie. He is smart. He has a he also now has a door, a cat door into the basement. Amy Prater Smith. Yahoo! There is a form on craftroulette.live to um, send me, and it says, guess what it says? It says claim prize. Fill that form out and so that I can get it to you. If you are a patron, you have till Thursday night. If you are not a patron, you might consider becoming one and you have till Sunday night. Otherwise, we just move it along. Did I miss the spin? I was talking so much. Well, we don't double dip. Sorry, Amy. I'll send you a deck, an extra good itty bitty gift. I'll put two gifts, two itty bitty gifts. We gotta give everybody a chance. I don't think one Amy's in, gonna worry. One in one hundred sixty-five chance, or 58? whatever. Yeah, yeah. After people have been removed. Lisa Welpley's gonna get a goodie bag. Lisa's a good girl. She's um. She watches with her family sometimes. When her son comes home from college, they watch. That precious. I love families that watch craft that. <laughs> it is good. Any more of those little cards popping down? <laughs> oh, they don't come down when on this. Oh, he has to approve them. Okay. I get you. This is new. I have to learn all the time. For a Gina K gift certificate of a hundred dollars, I don't know if anybody knows Meg. Make sure she <laughs> answers this so that we can send her that gift certificate. That's awesome. What did Thompson has sent in a card? <laughs> I love that. You guys are you like the collage? That is. Oh, you got your order from Possum Stamps. That is good. Make sure you share it on Facebook for us. For an Angie Blum digital design she's got some free ones too over on her website so if you're never if you've never done digitals they're really fun i i do like them because you can make them big or little sandy Lodu. that is a good thing sandy we will get that to you but make sure you you claim it gotta claim it and sandy's pretty new to us well that's exciting 
Yeah, Luann, that's right. You know, just sitting in a card is, is this is like a bonus to me. Sending in a card is the fun part. For Penguin Palace, Rosie B. Penguin Palace also has a discount going on. If you go to craftroulette.live under Associates Spin Sponsor, you can find out what the code is. It's for Craft Roulette only. And uh, you, so you can get one of those cool 360 stencils that she sells. So thank you so much, everybody, for sending in a card so that we could put you up there and have you have a chance to win something and um i mean it's just like i i get these notes from you guys and you go i never win anything <laughs> and it's exciting so i it's exciting for us too thank you so much make sure you send in cards will we break 165 cards this week with collage if if i can do it you can do it Sire, he looks ready. He's smiling. He's getting a drink. Hang on. There he is. There he is with his <laughs> mouthful of water. One time in second grade, I had a BFF named Kelsey. And we came in from recess early. We had a we had our we got a drink. I didn't know her mouth was full of water. I thought she was just blowing up her lip or cheeks, you know. And so I just went like that, and this water just <laughs> spewed out and landed on somebody's writing book. I was horrified because I'm a rule keeper, but um, I probably wanted, I may have, I don't know what we did. I don't remember getting in trouble. That was also the year I threw up in class, so it was a big year. Big year. I couldn't tell you what we learned, but <laughs> I remember that. And, well, things coming out of your mouth, second grade, that's where it is. Well, you did it. You didn't. You didn't have things coming out of your mouth, and so that's really good. Nope. Mm -hmm. I feel like you had were a success. Thank you. I had a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of fun. That's the way. That's kind of. That's kind of all that we can shoot for, because if we have a good time, I figure somebody else will too. Oh yeah, definitely. Cheddar boxes. Fun, I, fun I think contagious. they probably did. <laughs> they they entertain themselves in the chatter box. Yes, they do. <laughs> they do. They're just chit chatting away. We could. Uh, we were. Was that last week? We were talking about how loud they would be if they were in an actual room, <laughs> <laughs> because they would all just. There's no way you could get people's attention. Ding, 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 or anything. It was just yeah. do, do, do. So anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Do you have anything you would like to tell your fans? Just continue being awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and enjoy it. We were talking about that moment when you are smiling because you're crafting, you're creating, you're thinking of, oh, this is going to go here. I love the way this looks. This is such a neat thing to be able to do. Um, can you tell me, can you say a little bit about that? Because you have a really nice take on it about how enjoying your craft I'm putting you oh on that's, that's tough it's um yeah putting me on the spot. yeah i am i say <laughs> it's it hard to the end. see words that don't come naturally to me um right but we were talking about it and you were you were saying that that was part of the thing that you like most it's just that people enjoy what they're doing and that uh you love oh, seeing yes, that with yes. oh i know it was oh, the Trump. smaller it was the smaller the youtube smaller, yes. people smaller channels I, I really my favorite thing to do is watching the the small smaller channels because they're the ones who are actually creating things and just having such a, a grand like a fun time doing it and and you can tell by the, the sound of their voice and the glee that when something just clicks and it works and they're and they're recording this and like I did this like you can hear it in their voice and you can you can hear the smile right and those are the videos I go for. Those are the ones that I I really enjoy. Um, yeah. Listening. To. Yeah. And that's why we were talking about Carmen Carmen yeah. Blacksma, because I was saying yes. she does that on all of her videos. She's like, I love this. I just love this. This paper is perfect, and she's just joyful. And she, her thing is choose joy, and um and you can hear it. It's and it's so genuine, mm -hmm. and yeah. it's just delightful. So. Yeah, that's what we, that's kind of what we do. So, except we have one more thing to do before we sign off. I want to see how you kiss your brain. 
I saw you kiss your brain earlier. <laughs> it was, you were off camera and you were kissing your brain. So you, you got it bad. I love that. Thank you so much, Chatterbox, for being here tonight. I look forward to reading your chat that you were talking about because I don't, I just saw, I just keep seeing it move. <laughs> Mr. Producer, excellent job on your changes and putting in the graphic card and making it still work. I don't know how you do it. Sire, just a delight to spend the evening with you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for inviting me. It really <laughs> means a lot. <laughs> it really, he answered right away. He said, I'll do it, but I'm really scared. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> you know, I don't want you to be scared, but I want you to be care, but not be scared. So anyway, was, you did great. I'm blowing you a kiss now. <laughs> Guys. You. Take care. Send in those cards. We'll see you Tuesday on Fun University next week with Heather Telford. Good night. Have a wonderful week. Or as you say, have a beautiful week. Thank you. Night. <laughs>